Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to set up Passport with Wasabi Wallet. So I have Wasabi Wallet open right now. Passport is not yet officially supported, but we can use the import cold card functionality to connect Passport with Wasabi via micro SD card. So here I have Passport, and I'm gonna simply go to pair wallet, Wasabi, and it's gonna save a JSON file to the micro SD card. So I'm going to insert my first SD card and click continue. Done. So I'm going to put down passport for a second. I'm going to pop this micro SD card into my computer. And I'm going to click on import cold card. I'm going to open up the micro SD card. You can see this file called passport wasabi.json. We're going to open that up. And already now we have a wallet and it's labeled cold card zero. So I'm going to go ahead and load this wallet, which will take a second. And then we can verify that the setup process was completed properly. Perfect, so we can see the full transaction history. If we want to, we can come in here, check out the advanced settings, check out the wallet info. You can see all the details that you need to see about Passport. So now we can go to receive to create a new receive address. Let's label this test. And in Passport, we can go through and we can scan the QR code of this address, which you can see by clicking the drop down here, to confirm that everything has been set up properly. Okay. Address is now verified and pairing is complete. So now that we've successfully connected Passport to Wasabi, we can go ahead and create an air gap transaction. So I'm going to go and click on Build Transaction. We can select the coins that we want to spend from. We can paste in the address. Let me just confirm that that's correct. Perfect. And we can label it Coin Center. Let's do 0 0.005, which is about $1 worth of Bitcoin. We'll have a very low network fee. And we can click Build Transaction. You can see the transaction details here. We can then export the transaction and choose the micro SD card that's inserted. Perfect. So now we can remove the micro SD card and pop it into Passport. Click Sign with micro SD and verify that these transaction details look correct. and click sign. Perfect. So now we just click continue, remove this micro SD card, pop it back into the computer, and then we can click open transaction broadcaster. Let's import the transaction from the micro SD card. You see we have a .txn and we have a .assign.psbt. We can just use the .txn, should work fine. Perfect. You can see right here everything. And we click broadcast transaction. I'll take a second. And now we're done. So we've successfully signed an air gap transaction on Wasabi by pairing it with Passport. Thank you for watching.